May I proceed? Proceed. Please introduce yourself to the members of the jury. Hi there, my name is Cameron Lee. Mr. Lee, where were you on July 14th of 2018? Well, I was at Culkin's Campgrounds. It's this really nice camping spot outside of Midland Center. Great place to do some hiking, bird watching, canoeing, all that kind of stuff. Who, if anyone, did you meet during your trip? Well, I met the campground owner, Armani Rodriguez, when I checked in. I ran into this hiker, uh, Kelly. Didn't catch her last name, though. And uh, this father-daughter duo. I met them at the picnic area, Jordan Ryder and Parker Page. Are any of those people in this courtroom today? Yes, uh, the father, Jordan Ryder, uh, he's at the far end of the table in the uh, gray sweatshirt. Let the record reflect that the witness has correctly identified Jordan Ryder as the defendant. So reflect. You mentioned earlier that you met the defendant and his daughter by the picnic area. When was that? Well, that was around 2.30 p.m. on July 14th, 2018. I remember because I was sitting down feeding the Blue Jays granola I had brought from home when Jordan and Parker walked by. I didn't have enough for everyone, but I thought I'd bring them over, say hello. What, if anything, did they say to you? Well, not much. Uh, I asked Parker if she saw the Blue Jay nest, and she giggled a little bit. Uh, Jordan shook my hand. I said, nice to meet you, but he left pretty quick after that. Where did the defendant go? And Jordan started walking towards the hiking trip. What about his daughter, Parker? What was she doing? Well, she was trailing behind a bit. I remember it looked like she was limping, uh, favoring her right leg. Thankfully, though, she had a walking stick, so I, I think that helped. How far behind had the defendant left his daughter? Well, I mean, Parker was still near me in the picnic area when Jordan started shouting back at her from the trail. What was the defendant shouting? Jordan was shouting, hurry up, Parker. We haven't even started this hike yet. Let's go. Let's talk a little bit more about hiking. Where can you hike at Calkins Campground? Well, there's three trails. Uh, there's Ziegler Path, Wagner Loop, and La Croix Loop. My favorite's Wagner Loop because it's a great place to do owl spotting. You never know who you're gonna find. That sounds lovely, but what about La Croix Loop? What's that trail like? Oh, well, the Chrome Loop is known for its blue-breasted warblers, but I don't go there very often. It's, it's quite the hike, in my opinion. At some parts, you're literally climbing on cliffs with iron rungs, and I, I don't go off much. How do you know about the dangers of Le Chrome Loop? Well, I've tried it once or twice myself, and uh, there's also this sign out front I visited a few times. There's a robin's nest right above it. How do you get to the Le Chrome Loop? from the campsites? Well, if I'm in the campsites, I would cross over Muskie Bridge, uh, go to that picnic area I talked about earlier, and then take a right. You'll be able to crawl with the no time. Getting back to July 14th, who, if anyone, did you see cross Muskie Bridge heading towards Lake Road Loop? I saw three people, Jordan, Parker, and Kelly. How many people did you see cross Muskie Bridge returning to the campsites? I only noticed two people uh, walk back that way. Before we get into who they were, where were you when you saw them? Well, I, I was on the shores of Muskie Pond. I was practicing my duck calls and with some friends, Yui, Dewey, and Louie. I, I was right next to Muskie Bridge. When did you see them cross? I got down to the pond around 4.30. I was there for a couple hours, so I, I'd say sometime around six. Who was the first person you saw across that bridge? Jordan Wright. How do you know it was the defendant? Well, I, I saw his face, and uh, he had a walking stick, uh, kind of like his daughter Parker had earlier. Was Parker with the defendant? Uh, no, she wasn't. Where was Parker? Uh, I don't really know. You know, I always say birds of a feather should stick together, but uh, I didn't see Jordan with Parker. 
then who was the second person to cross the bridge? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, they crossed about 10 minutes after Jordan left. I assumed at first maybe it was Parker or some other hiker. I, I just never actually saw the person. No further questions at this time, Your Honor.